All right, we are back at it today with another pepper update video. So the first video, as you can see on my iPad, <laughs> was uploaded on March 17th. So a little bit about three weeks ago. And today's a little bit of an update video in terms of I want to show everybody what we've done with the peppers and how far along they've come and also talking a little bit about what I've done to help get them this far so I'm gonna cut right into it and as we can see here we have some pencils I guess this is a stir stick and just a bunch more pencils now why these are still in the beet pots is because I was making a modified little greenhouse so as you can see here I put down as a block baggie and it would cover the pots. Now I did this when they were a little bit, when they were seedlings, uh, not yet sprouted. I think today's going to be actually the last day because it's becoming very inefficient. I did it so that the moisture would stay in the peat pot a little bit better. Uh, it is still pretty cold up here in Canada, so the furnace is still running. I think it's like zero today. Um, so our furnace is running and it tends to dry out the pots pretty bad. Additionally, the table where I have the pots settled on a regular basis is pretty close to an air vent which further dries it out. So to help these guys uh, along the road a little bit better, I tried to make a modified greenhouse. And as they got a smidge bigger, I added pencils so that I could kind of drape it over the top and layer it. So now. These guys are too big and the pencils have to get bigger and the airflow going underneath the Ziploc baggie aka the modified greenhouse is just too much. So I think I'm going to quit with that because it's starting to lay on a little bit of the plants on the sides which is not, not the greatest. So in my original video I believe I said I wanted, I'd be happy with 8 plants that sprouted and so far we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen of them. And I thought there were sixteen. I think the sixteenth is right in here that I did not count. So I got double what I wanted. And if everybody remembers, I did indeed have twenty-five seeds, twenty-four planter pots, and two-thirds of those have come up, which is really nice. Um, as you can see, some of them. This was probably the first one to sprout. And it is quite big and quite happy. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> that was just Nathan saying hello to YouTube. I don't know if that got caught on the camera, but I am using his beautiful Nikon to film this video instead of my phone or my iPad. <laughs> um, so this plant here uh, is the first one that sprouted, I believe. and as you can see is the most advanced um, it's deep green at the moment which I've been told means I fed it correctly uh, I was talking to Nicholas and he's a little bit more on the gardening plant expert side and apparently the potting soil which I used you can see the front of the bag right here is what we were supposed to use and I didn't overfeed them because the tips of these plants aren't burnt um, which is nice so today what I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to top up the soil a little bit. So when you're spraying it with water, obviously the water packs down the soil a smidge. Um, so to help build up uh, the plant a bit better, I'm going to put soil in. I'm going to put soil in on all the ones that I have right now. And I think today is probably my cutoff day to see what the other seeds do. I mean, granted, some of them will not spawn or will not go from seedling to a little sprout, regardless of what I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that today. I'm only gonna use that spoon. Uh, we don't really, I don't really have to put a whole lot of dirt in. It's just enough to uh, bump it up a little bit to, like I said, support the plant a little bit better. So I'm gonna go do that off camera and then I'm gonna be right back. With the miracle of TV magic, I have topped up the plants that have currently grown. Uh, as you can see, this plant right here has got topped up. This one is still rolling with the dirt, or the soil I should say, that we used at the starting of this video series. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and spritz them. I'm probably going to do that off camera as well. 
just because I'll show I'll show one spritz here. We'll spritz this one. That's pretty much all that I do. I try to make sure that the plant has a little bit on the leaves and that the soil stays as moist as possible. I spritzed them this morning um, well, before I went to the gym probably about uh, say three hours ago give or take and they're kind of dry already which means that when I'm not here during the day or I'm off doing some things they're getting dry so I should probably be a little bit more attentive during the day and not try to feed them like once in the morning and once in the evening because they probably could use some more nutrition just the other thing that I wanted to mention is that this is actually phenomenally easy to do. Um, I haven't really done too too much in terms of like plant care, <laughs> and by that I mean it's like not a, not not a labor intensive process. I kind of just spend like two minutes a day taking care of these guys, and that's good because. Anybody else can do it. If I can do it, I've never done this before, and I'm able to get something to grow out of the ground, then everybody else can, which is fun and exciting. I am going to link the video for the first one in case anybody missed it so we can you can chart the progress along with me. And I'm probably going to do another update video in a probably about two weeks or so. Um, and just to get these guys to go a little bit more and hopefully we get a second set of leaves going and maybe even a third set Because <laughs> once they start it It's actually astonishing how fast they start growing especially when they're in conditions that they like I've been leaving it by a big bay window in my home But the problem has been that in Toronto the last few weeks. It's been really overcast so they haven't been getting as much sunny light as they possibly could want just due to the fact that we've been in perpetual grayness but such as it is the other thing is I do rotate them so if it's like if the tray is pointed towards the window the entire time then they will tilt towards the window because they're tilting towards the sunlight obviously that makes sense so I do try to keep in mind that I should rotate them so that they straight they tend to grow more straight and a little less bent which once I put them outside will probably help them grow more effectively and I can probably put them in the planting rows a little easier because I don't have to worry about propping them up and you know hopefully they get really heavy with peppers and I do have to prop them up but I think that's all we're going to do for today. I thank you very much for watching our video. Nicholas and I are doing this together. He's not here, but I'm taking care of it. And when, we're, when he's back, it'll be a joint process. Anyway, thanks very much. And if you like the video, drop a comment, a like, and please sub to the channel. Take care.